Hello friends, welcome. Friends, today morning I I saw this tweet from uh, Mr. Um, Barun and uh, he's asking me a question that sir is this true can you make a video about it? What is true? Jio failed to acquire Telenor, can you guess why? So this is a trail of tweet which has been shared by somebody called Finshot. So so friends I really don't have any boardroom information. So I can't tell, you know, these are all speculative. So I am not able to tell exactly what happened. But this tweet gave me a very important uh, idea. And the idea is to talk about that how Bharti ended up acquiring Spectrum from those players who, who became bankrupt, who exited the market. And why this story is very interesting, friends. Because, friends, you know that the Indian Spectrum auctions have been very competitive. Now, Bharti needed Spectrum. And if it... Uh, went all out to acquire Spectrum through the auction, then the prices would have gone much, much higher. So Bharti has always exited the auction at an appropriate time. And then when the players exited the market, they went and acquired their Spectrum. So this is the story that I am going to tell you today. And you will find this story very, very interesting because this story hasn't been told in the manner which I'm going to describe, right? So let's go step by step. So what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to use my tool. Tool means the tool, this tool has got all the data about all auctions and who acquired what spectrum in what, what quantum in what band. So what I have done, friends, I have selected a year 2010 where, where 3G auction took place. The band which I have chosen is to, to, to uh, 2100 megahertz band. And then the total outflow on an operator basis. So if you see here, the total outflow on an operator basis for all the circles here are listed out here. So these are the players who bid for the auction. And these are the players who, they, these are the aggregated output of those players for all the all the circles that they finally ended up acquiring. So if you see, Air, Aircel acquired Spectrum roughly around 6,500 crores. Bharti acquired six Spectrum around 12,300 crores, right? Idea around... Uh, 7,000, uh, 5,768 crores, right? Call uh, Arcom, uh, 8,583 crores. Estel, uh, 337 crores. Tata, 58664 uh, 5, 5, crores, right? 5,864 crores. And Vodafone, 11,619 crores. Now, what I want to point out here in the 3G auction, if you look at Bharti's bid, it was 12,294 crore, which is the highest of all. But if you look at it from a company point of view, which is the current company, Vodafone, Vodafone Idea, because Idea and Vodafone, if you add this to 5,768 plus 11,619, this becomes how much? 11,619 plus 557668. It comes out to be 17,000. 387. So 17,387. So the point which is which I'm trying to emphasize that Vodafone Idea has not only debt on EGR, but their spectrum debt is also very high. And you can clearly see from that, that Bharti had bid in a very cautious manner compared to Vodafone Idea combined. And even Reliance Geo in the initial stages of the bidding were not that much uh, you can say they did not bid so high from a quantum point of view, except for the last auction of 2022, where they bid very high because they acquired 700 and 3.5 gigahertz band, right? So Bharti ended up acquiring only 12,294 crores, right? So which spec operator spectrum it ended up acquired, acquiring in, you know, after the operators became bankrupt, right? So for that, I am going to take you through the Excel sheet. In the Excel sheet, what I have got a column where the first column is operator old. The old means the original bidder, right? Then operator new means after, after, after the operator had acquired spectrum, who finally ended up acquiring the spectrum or which operator sold spectrum to whom. So this is the column. Then we have year, then this is the band, the 2100 megahertz band. Because 2100 megahertz band auction took place in year 2010, 2015, 2016, 2021, 2022, 2024. So if you see here, Bharti ended up acquiring Spectrum in 13th circle in 2010. And then Tata also bid very aggressively. If you look at Tata's outflow here, Tata's outflow was how much? Where is Tata here? Tata is 5,864, right? 
so if if you add 5864 it is almost like comes to idea and vodafone combined right so bharti ended up acquiring all tata spectrum that is what i wanted to say and then bharti went on expanding their kitty as as the time progressed in 2015 2016 2021 2022 2024 2024 and it it ended up acquiring lot of spectrum so if i do a sum here some i think let's not do sum because it will end up uh, you know wasting lot of time so what i am going to what you can understand is that bharti acquired spectrum only for tata and tata bharti combined is actually higher than that of vodafone idea combined but what was the deal that bharti did with tata we don't know because what happened was tata ended up holding spectrum for a long period of time and tata bharti deal happened recently so tata already might have consumed that spectrum for a certain period and then there must have been some discount which the tata gave to bharti so bharti ended up paying much less than what tata might have paid in this auction that is the point which i am trying to say so this is band this is one particular spectrum band which is 2100 now let's talk about 2300 megahertz spectrum now if you look at 2300 megahertz spectrum the story is also very interesting because what happened in 2300 friends bharti ended up because they could not acquire 2100 3g spectrum so they wanted to fill up the gaps so what i am going to do friends i am going to show you here this here itself right in this excel sheet so i'll go and pick up year 2010 and i am going to filter with 202300 20, and apply filter so you will see here and i am going to get the other operators out ogier aircel qualcom tata tikona they are out and apply filter so if you see here it will very interesting story so you'll find that bharti in in year 2010 they wanted to acquire spectrum here in uh, so they they could not acquire spectrum in gujarat haryana uh, karnataka they could acquire kolkata they missed maharashtra they missed punjab is a very important circle for bharti so bharti acquired how many circles they acquired spectrum in some important circle where they missed which is kolkata maharashtra and punjab plus they acquired another so why it is 10 megahertz because it has been uh, play uh, the, because i wanted to add the spectrum all to, all uh, together because it is a tdd spectrum so i divided this by half so whenever you see a tdd spectrum you double the spectrum so this is all 20 megahertz of spectrum so bharti ended up acquiring four circles right after that if you go and filter this out and i'll just remove that year year and then i just apply filter here and all the years if i if i select all the years and if i select only the band 2300 then you will see that how many players just a minute let me just do it clear all filtering because it is clearing a con confusion so what i am going to do i am just going to pick the 2300 megahertz spectrum band when i pick 2300 megahertz spectrum band this is now going to tell you the story right so what is this story now you'll see here that in in year 2010 bharti ended up acquiring only four circles here right and then qualcom acquired delhi haryana kerala and mumbai so bharti ended up acquiring qualcom spectrum and then ogier acquired spectrum in mp bharti ended up acquiring ogier spectrum aircel had spectrum in in all these circles how many 3 4 5 6 7 8 circles bharti ended up acquiring all spectrum from aircel tikona had how many ek do 1 2 3 4 5 bharti ended up acquiring all spectrum from tikona and then bharti independently acquired spectrum in 2016 and 2021 the uh, these are 10 megahertz so 10 megahertz in all these circles so you can see how bharti incrementally went on acquiring spectrum from not only the market exiter who exited the market and those who became bankrupt and also incrementally acquire spectrum in the future in the in the coming years right so this is 2300 megahertz spectrum band now there is one more spectrum band which is going to be, i'll just clear all the filters now and then what i am going to do i am going to go now to the next year of auction which is year 2012 now why i am telling you 2012 because 2012 if you look at the total bands there were two bands one was 800 megahertz nothing was got acquired because the price was very very high another was 1800 megahertz spectrum because bharti focused on 2100 1800 and uh, and um, uh, and 2300 right so 
1800 is a very important band for Bharti. And Bharti ended up acquiring a lot of spectrum in 1800. So, in year 2012, because the prices of spectrum were set so high and Bharti was very painful. It was a very painful year in 2010. Bharti did not acquire any spectrum. They just ended up acquiring 1.25 because the granularity of, of, uh, of channel size in 2012 auction for 1800 was 1.25. But if you see how many players ended up acquiring spectrum, because Bharti thought that if they don't play in the market in 2012, they will depress the price of the auction. So Bharti only acquired only one slot, 9 crores. Idea ended up acquiring 2030 crores. Vodafone ended up acquiring 1,129 crores. Telenor, you see, Telenor ended up acquiring 4,019 crores and Videocon acquired 2,222 crores. Now, these two blocks of spectrum, Telenor and Videocon, Bharti ended up acquiring, right? So, if you add these two blocks, right, this is going much higher than Vodafone idea combined. But Bharti did not pay any anything uh, in the 2012 auction. So, when they acquire Telinar and when they acquire Videocon, they Bharti might have got a lot of leverage. So let's go and look at the 1800 megahertz story. So what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to again do a filter here. And I'm going to now go and filter the band 1800. So when I do filter 1800, so you'll see that the story becomes very, very interesting. So first, let's go to year 2012 and apply 2012. So you see... All these spectrum were acquired. Telenor and Videocon, whatever they got into 2012, Bharti acquired. Now, friends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the filter of year 2012 and let just a minute. I'm going to just remove 1995 because there's nothing took place in 1995 and apply other filters. Now look at what happened. In 2014, Bharti independently acquired spectrum. And they were very, very bullish about 1800 megahertz spectrum band because the licenses were expiring, if you recall, right? And Telenor also acquired a lot of spectrum, not a lot, they acquired some spectrum in 2014, which Bharti ended up acquiring in uh, later, right? You see Telenor here in 2014. And Bharti also acquired spectrum in 2015. See, some spectrum they acquired in 2015. Tata also acquired spectrum in 2015, which Bharti ended up acquiring. Then Bharti acquired Spectrum in 2016, year 2016, and 2016, in Tata acquired in 2016, which Bharti ended up acquiring, and rest Bharti acquired Spectrum. So, the main point here of this discussion is that Videocon and Telenor, who were the new entrant, and they their license got cancelled, and they actually bid in the 2012 auction, which Bharti did not bid, and they ended up acquiring that Spectrum, and Bharti did not bid anything in 2012 auction, but they gave away their spectrum to Bharti and they finally quit, quitted the market. So they exited the market. So this shows the business equipment of Bharti's ability to, you know, convince the, the players who exited the market to give their spectrum and then exit the market. And they might have done that, you know, that uh, they might have done it in a discounted price, most probably, right? And that shows that how Bharti might have saved some cost in what spectrum that they ended up acquiring. Because 1800 megahertz spectrum band, if you look at my chart, I'm going to go to spectrum bands. And if you look at 1800 megahertz spectrum, you will find that if I go here and I sell, filter by Bharti, you see Bharti has got a very large quantum of 1800 megahertz spectrum chart. And all this spectrum, they ended up acquiring through those players who exited the market, right? So this is one, uh, this is the second import. So the, how many bands we have discussed? We have discussed 2300, we have discussed 1800, we have discussed 2100, right? And let's look at 900 megahertz spectrum. 900, nothing actually happened. Whatever, and whatever uh, Bharti acquired, they acquired uh, on their own. I don't think they got spectrum from anybody else. But let's have a look at it, just to be sure. So if I do a filter on 900 megahertz spectrum band here, just a minute. So I do a 900 megahertz spectrum band and see whether there were any block of spectrum. No, nothing is there. See, everything was acquired by Bharti. And why you see 1995? Because this is the unlevelized spectrum, which finally got, you know, extinguished from the market, right? So nothing was there. And let's look at 800 megahertz spectrum. Let's see 800 megahertz spectrum. 
800 mega spectrum bharti acquired that of tata so you see tata ended up bidding what uh, haryana and uh, maharashtra so they they sold their spectrum to bharti and some spectrum they sold to reliance jio also which is very interesting now after having seen so there is no other band and maybe let's see any band which we have missed here no i don't think anything we, we have missed we have covered 800 900 1800 2100 2300 2, that's all now let's look at the story about reliance jio what reliance jio did and what finally they ended up acquiring so if you look at this you will find that there is only two operators name other than reliance jio which is tata and arcom so reliance jio wanted 800 mega spectrum and there were no way for them to get spectrum other than negotiating with arcom so if you see here 800 megahertz you know i filter with 800 just a minute if i filter with 800 megahertz you will find that reliance jio actually had to acquire a lot of spectrum for a from 800 megahertz from other operators see arcom these are all arcom spectrum tata actually sold some spectrum which some of it it sold to bharti and some of it sold to reliance jio and then we have got another uh, spectrum here so this is negative because these are all expired so all the spectrum that bharti ended up acquiring from arcom actually got expired in year 2022 so and they actually only have spectrum from for tata so that is the story of reliance jio so reliance jio did not do anything bharti ended up acquiring lot of spectrum from their competitors and vodafone idea if i go to this sheet and if i do a filter here and then this is the combined sheet for all the operators and if i filter with vodafone idea here if i see if you do a vodafone idea then you will find that vodafone idea ended up paying lot of spectrum lot in the auction because of vodafone and idea bidding independently they bid independently they bid against each other because they bid against each other they actually escalated the price of the spectrum auction and therefore their outflow on spectrum auction is also very high they the debt is not just on account of agr their spectrum auction debt is also very high and they ended up acquiring lot of spectrum in 900 mega spectrum band so if you go here sorry this band so if you go here and if i do uh, bidder details and if i go here and choose a particular band and let's you do 900 mega spectrum and here you will see if i go and do year 2014 because those are the renewal spectrum auction you can see idea paid for 900 mega spectrum just a minute let me just do band band got missed here so 900 mega spectrum idea paid 3705 Vodafone paid eleven thousand two hundred sixty one. Bharti only paid eight eight thousand six hundred twenty three. Right. So this is nine hundred mega spectrum. Now in two thousand fifteen, if I go two thousand fifteen and then if I do bidder details and choose nine hundred mega spectrum, you will see. Uh, you know, yeah, this is this is nine hundred mega spectrum. Yeah, yeah. So Bharti paid twenty two thousand two hundred fifty seven. Idea paid twenty seven thousand six hundred and forty, and Vodafone paid twenty one thousand two hundred and thirty four. So if we add these two together, you can see the amount of money that Vodafone and Idea paid for nine hundred mega spectrum. See, filter with nine hundred two thousand fifteen auction, Bharti only paid twenty two thousand two hundred and fifty seven. So if you add this, Vodafone, Idea, and Vodafone two seven six four zero plus two one. Two three four. It comes out to be forty eight thousand eight hundred and forty seven. Whereas Bharti paid only twenty two thousand two hundred fifty seven. Now you know that why. If I go to Spectrum Band and if I do nine hundred megahertz here, you will see that why. And if I do here, uh, Vodafone Idea, you see here. And if I do Bharti here, if you compare both of their spectrum. if you see that you will find why vodafone idea has such a such a good quantity spectrum in some crucial circles because of that because they paid heavily for 900 mega spectrum and that's why their spectrum debt is so large they 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 compete against each other and bharti did not do that bharti exited the auction and bought spectrum from their competitor so they bid very intelligently in the auction that's what i wanted to tell you in this video i hope that it kind of made lot of sense and this is a very important information this information you can will not get from anywhere and thanks for listening till the end and i'll come back with a new video uh, on a new topic next time thank you very much friends